Family Love 97.7 FM. God bless you. God bless me too. Wherever you're listening to the radio from, it is so good to have you, especially on this Sunday afternoon, the 17th day in the month of January 2016. If this is your first time on the radio, at least listening, I think I should say Happy New Year to you. Right, I told you earlier on today on the show that I'm going to be talking to a reverend. Yes, and、um, we'll be talking about church. You see, I know a whole lot of people don't go to church all through the weekend, and then when it's Sunday, in fact, they begin to prepare for maybe Friday night or even Saturday. They begin to prepare. Hey, what am I going to put on? I have to go to church. Even if I didn't go to church though, all through the week, I must not miss Sunday service. So, and they're up and they're up and about, you know, trying to get set for church on Sunday. Is this becoming a religion? Is it even important in the first place to go to church? What is the essence of going to church? Right now, with me in the studio, I have a reverend. His name is Reverend Fico. Not、uh, not just a reverend. He's not just a reverend. He's also a gospel artist. And as we go on on the show, we'll be playing a few of his songs. And he's also here with his friend. And、um, she likes going around propagating God's word with him through music. And、uh, her name is also Olivia. So I'm just going to put on the the the, the microphone, and so you could hear their voices, even as they say hello to you here in Port Harcourt. Reverend Fico, it is good to have you on the radio. The pleasure is mine being、oh, here. Okay, and Olivia, it's good to have you. It's definitely beautiful to see you and to be here on the Family Love FM. Okay, great. <laughs> Reverend Fico, how do you love our station? Pretty great.、Uh, I actually had this as one of the uh, lead uh, radio station, gospel stations in Nigeria. So that's why when I was told I was going to be here、uh, by Olivia, I said, "Sure, I'll do it." Beautiful. You're not mistaken. We actually、um, won the Listener's Choice Radio Station of the Year.、Uh, think about three months ago, and not af- just after that, barely a month after, the best in the whole of the Nanta Delta. Great, It、see? is the Lord's doing, Amen. <laughs> and it's marvelous in、yes. our sight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so well, very quickly,、um, Reverend Fico, tell us about church. What is what is church in the first place? Church is not just a building. Remember, the church pretty much entails the people of God and the building as well. For instance,、um, when we talk about, let's say, I'm a Catholic priest. When we talk about the Catholic Church, it's not just the priest, it's not just the building, it's the people of God together with Christ as our head.、Mm. So that is what you call a church, and it is just bigger than an individual.、Mm. It is everyone that makes up the church. Everyone makes up the church. So,、uh, can you just、uh, shed more light on why it is important to go to church? Is it important in the first place? Or it is quite important to go to church. It's just like let me give an analogy with the human body. When, for instance, you fail to feed yourself as a human being, you、mm. starve to death. It is the same when we fail to pay attention to our spiritual life. We also find ourselves in such situations. That is why, no matter what we do, we always call to pay attention to the soul and the body. That's what makes the human being,、mm. no matter what we are. And then I know some people argue and say something like, "Yeah, but that doesn't mean I have to go to church." The church is actually a f- place that we can find solace. You see, that's why when we look around, th- around us, everything going on. Sometimes when we want to pray, and we're in our house or in our homes, we find it difficult to do such. Why? Because we can't concentrate. The church is a place that we find solace. We pretty much give everything to God. We let go and let God. And especially for us Catholics, going to mass on Sunday, it is not only a fulfillment of our Sunday obligation, but it reminds us that no matter what we do, no matter who we are. Let us not forget we are made in God's image and likeness, and if we're made in His image and likeness, that is something that should be part of our everyday life. When we wake up in the morning, we give thanks to God for the gift of life. We understand His presence in our lives,、mm-hmm. and we allow Him to lead us. Okay. Well, in case you just tuned in, not to worry. Don't even think of getting anything twisted. This is ninety-seven dot <laughs> seven FM. It's the Sunday afternoon show with Karen, your black coffee, and I've got to. A guest,、uh, Reverend here. We're talking about church. Is it important to go? And then the face too. You'll be amazed. He's going to be singing for us, and he's got、uh, 
a few songs that he does too, gospel for that matter, songs that cannot stop Olivia from <laughs> dancing. Olivia just bops her head side to side whenever it's on song play. Okay, so uh, let's just go a little bit further. Some people argue that um, many churches, I wouldn't like us to re make reference to any church or any denomination in particular, but that most times when they get there, because of human behavior, the things that they see, they also believe that some people just go to church and you put up a charade, you know, that they are usually more discouraged than, than being encouraged. So they opt to stay away because they want to avoid some bigotry or, you know, some church politics and what have you. So they want to stay by themselves and study God's word and pray, believing that God can also talk to them, you know. So what do you have to say about that? That's true. Of course, that's the reality of life. That's why we are human. We have people that turn everything to being about them and not about God. But let us not forget, forget we're made in God's image and likeness. Mm -hmm. It is about Him and not about us. And that is why no matter what is going on, yes, no matter what we think our pastors, our reverends, our bishops, and whoever is doing, let us pay attention to the fact that it is about God. It's not about them. They are there not to be God for us. They are there to lead us to God. Mm. And that is why it's so essential that people pay attention to that. It is to lead us to God. They are guides, they are servants of God to bring us closer to Him and to help us grow in our spiritual life. Okay, so well, this is gonna sound a little ridiculous, but I'll ask it anyhow. Uh, how often are people expected to go to church? Based on the commandments, every week, every Sunday. Every Sunday. Yeah. So we have out in between services within the week. Yeah, you can have the daily masses, which we do go for the Catholics. But the thing is, you know, every place is different. From like myself coming from Los Angeles, California, and in the U.S. in general, we do have masses mm. on Saturday for those who are working on Sunday, so that they can fulfill their obligation. Okay. And that might be something that might be put into consideration as well here in Nigeria. Okay. If there are some people that can go to church on Sunday and they can do that Saturday evening, so as to fulfill their Sunday obligation, that would be nice. So. Remember, it's not just showing up in church, but having that encounter with God whenever we're there. Okay. So, not going to church can actually displease God. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go away. Now you're going to hear a song by Reverend Father Faiko. Huh? Aha. Uh -huh. When we come back, you tell me what you think about it. But uh, we're still talking about church. So I know no one is upset, huh? Especially you that doesn't like to go to church. Perhaps you have a change of mind at the end of this uh, interview. Come to my aid, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. In your kindness and love, show compassion, forgive all I told you, I told you he sure can also sing. I need a savior title of that song. Okay, Reverend Fico is here in the building with me, and um, I need a savior. We sure do. Many times I say that um, when you're down, when you're dry, you need a source to refill, you know, just like an energy bulb that needs constant charging. When you, when you don't charge it, and all the power is used up, it becomes empty. So you need a constant area or reservoir where you get your refill from. So the question is this afternoon, do you have a reservoir? Where do you get a refill from? Reverend Fico, back to church matters. Mm -hmm. Not going to church, is it enough to make someone land on the other side, not go to heaven? Not really, but um, it kind of um, pushes a person further away from God. Because you know, just like from the song that you had, I Need a Savior. That song came from a situation whereby even as a Catholic priest, I was going through so much difficulties and struggles, racism, name it. Like, mm -hmm. it was a whole bunch. And finding solace in God was pretty much what helped and assisted me. But I could do that by my own, but it's mm -hmm. always good when you are in the community of people who are there to support you, mm -hmm. who are there to tell you, you know what, you're not alone, we're with you. To tell you, you know what, I'm going through the same thing as well. Okay. But together we can make this change happen. And then even the scriptures remind us where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm there in their midst. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that God is not with us as individuals. Remember, 
our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit God lives in us and we in him so being in the church or going to church helps and kind of guides us a little bit better than when we are on our own that is where we can find the guidance we need that is where we can find the direction that will guide us and then that is where we can find people who can actually lead and assist us mm. closer to God okay family love 97 dot fantastic seven it is right here in Port Harcourt's Garden City I'm talking to Reverend Father Fico and is also here with Olivia we'll be right back to continue but we've got to pay some bills don't go away the rest of the Sunday afternoon show will continue in a flash. I need a savior, one of the songs done by the guest reverend here in the studio, Reverend Fico. Okay, well, so he's just told you and I that it's important to go to church, so perhaps we should stop making excuses for not even wanting to go there for whatsoever reason. And I'm sure as you try to turn a new lift, that God is going to help you in this regards. Yeah? Is that okay? Happy Sunday to you once again. I guess that's the reason many people say happy Sunday, because they go to church and have a happy time with God. Because <sighs> I was wondering, really, for Reverend Feigl, people don't really say happy Saturday that much. Huh? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to go straight now to talk to Reverend Feigl. Let's get to know a little about his... Um, music career and um, how long he's been singing and the rest of them. So let's get him meet you in person. Okay, um, Reverend Fico, uh, a couple of people are wondering how come uh, Catholic Priest has a nickname. <laughs> Actually, the Fico, the Fico is my initial. Uh, Fidelis is my baptism name. Emmanuel with an I. Emmanuel with an I. With an I, <laughs> that's my confirmation name. And then the C is Chinidu, my evil name. Oh. And my last name is Omeyako. So I was like, there's no need of having any other new they name. Do, they sound like a tongue twister. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> All of them put together. <laughs> it would have been difficult to. Yes, sir. Yeah, but in making it FICO, it sounds a little bit different and a little bit easier to pronounce, pretty much. So that's why I chose the name. And of course, I went to school here in Nigeria. Yeah. Primary school, secondary school. I did my bachelor's here as well mm. before I went to the U.S. to do my master's and got mm. ordained. Uh, so I'm pretty quiet at home uh, and everything going on here. And also I started singing when I was in um, secondary school because I went to a Catholic school okay. and it's actually a seminary school. So I was a member of the choir. I played the piano as well, mm. but I kind of chose singing over playing any instrument because yeah. I, I felt a different vibe when mm -hmm. I sing than when I play an instrument. Okay, which which church song do you think is the most popular in Nigeria? Could be a chorus, it could be anything. I know one of the ones that actually struck me so much was the, um, it's been a while I had it, the Oganedo. <laughs> Oganedo. Yeah. Olivia, you know Oganedo? Of course, Frank Edwards. <laughs> Frank Edwards. Oganedo, like Frank Edwards? Yeah. I, I'm blank right now. You're blank right now. But I do yeah. remember it because even... Even even there in the U.S., a couple oh. of the American pastors do actually sing the Yeah. The Tell us how our songs, especially gospel songs, are being appreciated by, you know, foreigners. Oh, you don't want to know. Everybody loves it. Mm. See, that's, it's, it's lively. Actually, that was, that was one of the things that actually made me say, you know what, I need to a little bit go back to the roots and figure out certain things differently. Mm. Because mm. when you listen to I Need a Savior that you had, it's a little bit slow you know mm. meditative mm -hmm. but then the nigerians you know you have that swag let hey, me use that word <laughs> yeah and you know you have to keep it bumping side oh, yes. to side okay. doing all those dances to mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. so it makes it a little bit different in as much as you're praising god yes you're also praying uh, do you know how the angels dance organedo in heaven <laughs> hey <laughs> over lord have mercy so don't worry i know you listen to i need a savior and that's kind of, that's kind of slow but you listen to david dance eh if we danced and when we're going to do that song I'll ensure that you're not driving if you're driving you just pack your car for a bit if you're <laughs> at home you can put on your dancing shoes and that will now shock you to Davy dance though <laughs> you know tell us a little about David dancing and um, you know the wife of uh, no was it Uriah or something yeah they mocked her and then became a little bit barren yeah. tell us why it's not it's not okay to to mock people who are Dancing out of proportion in God's presence. And don't forget, that was a, when David was bringing the Ark of the Covenant mm. back to Jerusalem. And 
the wife was actually, why are you doing this? He said, everything I have, who I am, mm. everything going on in my life is a gift from God. Why would I not praise him? And don't forget, he was dancing actually naked. Because mm. he was like, that would tell you, yeah, wasn't, it wasn't a show. That would have been some serious transition mm -hmm. into heaven. Look, mm -hmm. dancing naked and not even remember that you were naked. Exactly. Okay. He uh, was in a different zone. Mm, <laughs> entirely. Okay, so let me not just, you know how we said in Niger Palance, I don't want to do you any long throats or longer throats. So I cannot give you the songs, but um, you can go to um, Reverend Fico's Twitter handle. If you go to check on him on, on Twitter, it's Reverend Fico, but it's spelled F-I-C-O, all right? F-I-C-O, that's the pronunciation, the spelling, but it's pronounced Fico. So it's R-E-V for Reverend, then F-I-C-O. That's his Twitter handle. His Facebook is also the same thing, Reverend Fico, and his Instagram page, Reverend Fico. So you can go there and see what he's about and download the songs if you want to listen to them and you get to know more um, about him. Okay, so tell us of you where, um, you know, the areas where you have ministered and how God moved, you know, in these areas. Yeah, because um, after my ordination in May um, 31st, 2008, I was uh, posted to St. Mary's Parish in Palmdale. One of the largest parishes in my diocese is about 11,000 plus families. Mm. So it was where I started working on the song, but I've been thinking about it for a long time, but I started working on it there. And it came to a situation whereby after I've done a couple of songs, mm. uh, a couple of the Spanish speakers yes. started pressing and I said, you know what, what of us? It's like <laughs> as if you're leaving us out. Hell. You have to do some Spanish songs. Mm. So I actually had to do four of the songs in Spanish with David Dance, Mm. It's also one of them. It's by Low David. You know? By Low, yes, David. yes. And then <laughs> I need a savior. It's also one of them. Neces um, Necesitar un Salvador. Mm. So we also did that one as well. So I, I got to, I started doing that and it started going so well. I was invited to a couple of events, especially to the younger folks. Actually, it started all with the new evangelization movement of the Catholic Church that emphasizes the need to reach out to everyone. But especially paying attention to the younger generation mm. and using new methods and ways to preach the gospel. Mm. And I decided, you know what? There's nothing wrong with me praising God with music, but not just any form of music. I can use r and I can use blues, I can Yo. use hip-hop, mm. I can use <laughs> rock. And, you know, maybe very soon I can use one of the Nigerian swag beats, you know, you the know, kind of and thing. all those hey, stuff. Yeah, and twist it a little Jesus. bit. Exactly. <laughs> Make it be a little bit different and that's it. So... It kept on going and performing in various places. Not too long ago in September, I did um, perform in a Spanish concert over 4,000 people plus. Everything mm. was in Spanish. So it was a little bit challenging because I do speak Spanish, but mm. not the way I speak English of or course. speak Pigeon English mm. or speak Igbo. It's a little mm. bit different. <laughs> but it was really some one of those things that I kind of said, you know what, it's for the ministry, it's for the gospel, I'll do it, it's yeah. for God. So how do you say praise the Lord in Spanish? Uh, Alabanza, Senor. Oh my goodness, Alabanza, Le Senor. Ah, Senor. Ah, Senor. Okay, then French is Leo Le Senor. Okay. Similar a little bit? Similar, yeah, mm -hmm. French and Spanish, so, yeah. Okay, I want to play that song, David Danced, and when I come back, you do a freestyle on it. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and dolls, we're talking to Reverend Father Fico. Eh, don't be surprised though, he's doing this shocking thing for the Lord. That is the way it is. Or uh, let's listen to it. Yeah. 
for his worthy deserve. 